I was not sure I was gonna film a vlog style video like this, but it's just what's happening today. So Clover had the most fun at the park, even though it was a muddy mess. Let me show you how completely dirty he is. Okay, buddy. He actually, and he like wiped out in the mud while he was running around chasing another dog. And he got, um, he got mud underneath his chin, although I think he's clean now, but look. <laughs> Actually, he's not that dirty anymore. He was really muddy before, um, but he's still got some stuff in his tail. I'm gonna just give him a, a quick wipe down with some wipes, and uh, but look at his jacket though. <laughs> Cause he was rolling around in the mud with um, his friend. <laughs> so he had a good time, so I'm definitely not gonna, you know, if he gets dirty, he gets dirty. He's a dog, so. Uh, but we're gonna wipe him down and uh, <laughs> yeah. I've cleaned him up as much as I could. <laughs> what are you doing, little one? He is super tired. He was at the dog park for two hours. He was not planning on it. Look at the dirtiness. Whatever, I don't care. He's fine. He had fun and that's really all I'm concerned about. Well, oh, he's got his tired face on. He's like, yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> House is looking not so bad, um, but the floor is a little bit dirty. So I'm just gonna start the Roomba, have some lunch, and then I will get to my makeup declutter. I've done my lunch. I've done doing, I did like the most intense work thing I've done in a month that I've been very much procrastinating on doing, but it's done. So I'm very happy about that. That took a lot of time and a lot of energy. It took two hours, oh my gosh. But I'm gonna do my biannual makeup declutter for you guys. Biannual has two different meanings. It means like twice a year and every two years. So, it's one of those words to best not use it, but you know what, I'm not one of those people. So I'm gonna use biannual and I'm gonna meet it to be twice a year. So twice a year I go and declutter my makeup because I am a makeup enthusiast and a makeup collector. So I have a lot of unnecessary things that might be old or stuff that I just don't use anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of it today. And the bean is up and he is now much cleaner than he was before I brushed him and uh, hosed him off. You you look still tired though. He's been sleeping for the past like, maybe hour and a half, but boy, does he still look tired. Wow, bud. Do you need to go back to sleep? I think so. He's so cute though. Totally unrelated, but I got a new iPhone. I got the iPhone 8 Plus, and it is significantly larger than my other phone, but Love it. I love how big it is. So if you guys are debating on the 8 Plus, it's a pretty good phone. So far, I love it. The only thing that upsets me is they did take the headphone jack away and you have to use AirPods or you have to hook the headphones into the power jack there, which you, means you can't charge it or you can't charge it and listen to your music at the same time, which upsets me. So I do use AirPods. I do love those a lot. There they are currently charging. The battery lasts a long time which is great because I've been having some problems with my 6S I had. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm an Apple person who buys a new iPhone every two models. I don't buy the next model up every time because I just, I have my phones for two years and then I replace them. But if you were on the fence about getting the 8 and uh, concerned about the 10, which I don't love because of the notch and I just don't trust the face ID unlock or whatever that is, this has been great. The only thing it, that takes getting used to, this has turned into an impromptu Apple iPhone review, is the home button is not the same as it was before. It's it's the same kind of 
pressing as the Mac, the current Mac computers, will, where it's not an actual button, but it's a sense it makes you feel like you're pressing a button. That took a little bit to get used to, but it, after a couple days, I was fine. End of review. <laughs> Okay, current situation on my makeup desk is a little bit of chaos since I just did my makeup. I've got stuff out here, stuff over here, and stuff in here. This stuff's pretty okay. Uh, the brush situation, these are where I keep the dirty brushes. So this is gonna be rough stuff right here. I, I can clean this another time. Let's put this guy in here too. Look, look, they're all happy. Um, I got these drawers. If you've never seen my channel before, I got these drawers from the container store. They are made of acrylic and they're much, they're modular. So each of these drawers is individually sold. So they're a really good value because some of those things are super expensive. So these are really nice. And I also have this Ikea thing down here. It's also filled with makeup. It's quite embarrassing, but I'm gonna clean it out today. And always a disclaimer about these videos, yes, I have too much makeup for one person. I have been watching videos on YouTube in the beauty space and enjoying them, and I was heavily influenced by those videos. So I've been collecting makeup, just buying things unnecessarily, and I, I am not going to be able to use everything. I understand this. However, I have fun, and I love my little makeup corner. I, it's my, I call it my toys, and I just sit here and I, I, I do cycle through everything and try to use everything that I have. Some things I do forget about from time to time, so I need to cycle them in and out more. But all in all, I have fun. I spend my money the way that I want to, so I, yes, I do have too much makeup. And another disclaimer, the makeup that is leaving my collection today is going to family and friends first, and um, some of it's going in the trash. So that is what's happening to the makeup. Nothing else is happening to it, except for the old makeup that I may be throwing away. Let's begin. <laughs> Okay, I've pulled my blush drawer out and um, I'm gonna quickly go through this and get rid of some stuff. I'm going to throw this away. I know that this is old and probably not good anymore. Uh, let's see, what else? This is a blush palette. I'm definitely gonna keep these guys. These are blush palettes, I love these. Gonna keep these, I'm probably gonna get rid of this guy. I'm gonna give it to someone else, don't use it. I have been holding on to this for like 80,000 product declutters and I'm just gonna let it go because I've never used it since I, I decided that I was gonna keep it so I'm gonna get rid of this tart one as well and uh, this makeup keep one I'm gonna keep I, I actually like the color I haven't used it in a while but I'm gonna keep it around um, these two Clinique ones love them so much use them all the time Rocketeur a little bit unsure I've used it a good amount I'm gonna keep it around for one more to clutter and see how I feel about it. These NARS guys, I'm definitely gonna keep around, love them. Um, and all of the Tarte things, look like little macarons, don't they? Little macarons. Um, definitely gonna keep those guys. They're happy, but I got rid of a few, so I'm very happy about that. So I'm gonna put these in. Well, actually not the one I'm gonna throw away. Just the powders that I'm gonna give away. I have a little, whoa, I have a little apple bag here. Ooh, look, apple, because we got app new iPhones. Uh, so I'm gonna reuse the bag for it to give away makeup. But this one, I'm just gonna throw in the trash because it is from years ago and it's a cream product. I did use, whoa, focus. Hello, let's focus. I did use quite of a lot of it, uh, quite of a lot of it, quite a lot of it though. I did use quite a lot of this. It was really nice. It smelled really good. I haven't even smelled it to see if it smells good or bad, but I'm just gonna throw it away because it's over, it's too old to be hanging around. So uh, this was a Becca blush. It was really nice, but got to go now. So all in all, I'm really happy with the blushes that I have left. I also have a blush palette that maybe I can stick in here. Okay, it's this Too Faced one. It was in one of those drawers and I don't use it enough because I forget that I have it. It's super cute, let me show you the inside. Look at how cute that is. I really like this. I'm gonna put it on the inside of here so I remember that it's there. It sort of fits. Let's see. <laughs> it doesn't really fit. Ah, let's make it fit. Okay, now she fits. So we've got a theme here. We've got like palettes in the back and singles sort of all around. So I really like that and I'm gonna put the blush thing back. So I'm gonna go through these. I 
shadow palettes and see how I feel about them. The Nars Narcissist one I'm definitely keeping. Love that. I use this one all the time too. I'll just show it to you. It's really pretty. Look at that. It's a whole face palette. So when I'm traveling, sometimes I'll just take that and that's good enough. Uh, this Tartlet one in bloom, I'm definitely going to keep. Love that. Natural Eyes. I love this one. Actually, they came up with some new packaging for this one. So super pretty. The Steel Palette. I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to keep this one too. <laughs> this, however, this All Mode Palette, I think I'm going to let this guy go. I haven't used it in a long time. So, goodbye. Hmm. I got this in a BoxyCharm, uh, which is a beauty subscription box if you don't know what that is. I get, um, like it's like Christmas every month. I get makeup every month, which I probably shouldn't be getting, but um, I do, I do. Ooh, I've never used this, and I don't think I'm ever going to use it, so it's got to go. Uh, this, oh, I love this. Check this out. If I'm going to a party, it's very glittery and shiny. Ooh, you can see the, you can see the camera and the reflection. Um, I'm just going to do that like every other beauty blogger. But these are basically glittery eyeshadows, and these are great for if I'm going out on a party. Love these. They were limited edition. Sorry, you can't get them anymore. It was part of the Christopher Kane collection. Love it so much, keeping it around. So I got rid of a couple of eyeshadow palettes there. Let me put these back in the drawer. This I already cleaned out. This is now just face products. So I've got a couple foundations. I don't really use a lot of foundation, a uh, contour kit, and a couple of primers, samples of primers in there. Actually, this, I'm just, I'm going to give up on this. This was really nice, actually. This is a Tatcha. What is this? This is a sunscreen. And this is so expensive. I can't even tell you how, this is insanely expensive. But I really liked this. <laughs> I'm tempted to buy another sample. You could, this is a sample that I actually bought off the Tatcha website, but I ran out. I would squeeze in the heck out of this, but nothing more comes out, so goodbye. The rest of these are pretty good. Oh, I'm going to throw this away. <laughs> that was a sample as well. I use samples, you guys. I am definitely going to use samples. Oh, this is sad, too. This was my Bite Agave Lip Mask that I got as a sample. Look at how much I abused this. I actually used this whole thing. And I can't get any more out, so I think, well, maybe I can get, like, one more application, but it's pretty much done. It's old anyway. I'm going to have to buy a full size of this. This this was loved and used. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Bite of Agave Lip Mask, it's a great, like, thick, it's kind of a thick lip balm. You can use it right before bed. It's awesome. But I'm going to have to to bite the bullet and buy the full size. But this one's going in the trash. Yay, I did it. I used the whole thing. Okay, so only a couple primers left in this little AMAC box that I put right in the front here. Isn't that cute? All right, this drawer is brow products. Getting a little bit crazy here. This is my, oh, this is eyelashes and brows. Okay, this guy, this guy I, I bought in Vegas because I was desperate for brow products. I never use him anymore, so he's got to go. He's probably just going to go in the trash because, frankly, there's a cream in there and nobody wants to use that after I've used it. Ooh, what's this? This is, oh, Look at that, it's brow powder. Uh, this is from the Brow Gal, which is a really, that's such a fancy company. I have a similar brow kit, right? From Bodyography, which is a company I've never heard of. I got it from a BoxyCharm. And I've used this. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's a little old now. Hmm, 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 hmm. The rest of the stuff is staying. Hmm, hmm. I don't need two of these, right? Let's let's take a look at both of them. Let's compare. Pretty similar. But this one seems like it's a little lighter, a little more ashy, and this one's a little more warm. So I think I'm going to keep the one that's a little more ashy. That's uh, better for my skin tone. And I like the shape of this compact anyway. So this one I'm going to pass along. Okay, this is like a mascara situation. I got this like free sample with a lotion or something like that that I've never I hate this mascara. I don't even know why I'm keeping it around. Uh, this Tardis eyeliner, this is fine. This one definitely has to go. This is like a L'Oreal, ooh, very shiny L'Oreal eyeliner. This was, this is actually a really nice gel eyeliner if you're not familiar from the drugstore, but it's, it's really old, so it has to go. Hmm. Uh, this is a, I, I did not like this mascara. It's gotta go. It's old anyway. So, everything else in here is pretty good. This eyebrow gel is on those last legs, but I'll just use it up. I've been using that pretty much every day, and these eyeliners are pretty good, and the rest of these mascaras, how many mascaras do I have open? OMG. Oh, I only have three open. No, that's not true. I totally have four, because there's one right here. <laughs> Why was there one in there? And what happened to my Lash Paradise? What? Where did that go? Oh, I know where it is. 
And I discovered two more open mascaras. Yay! So clearly I need to curb how many mascaras I have open at one time because there are one, two, three, four, five, six open mascaras. <laughs> Which one is the oldest? I think the Bobbi Brown one is the oldest, so that one probably has to go. I liked this mascara, by the way. I'll show you the wand. It was a really lovely mascara. A little older than it than I should have, probably more than six months old, so it's got to go. Uh, this is Maxi Lash. This one's still pretty good. And this Lancome Hypnostrama is still pretty good. Not my favorite. A little bit gloopy, but we're going to use it up anyway. Everything else, pretty good. Going to put the mascara eyeliners back. Singles. Singles, singles. This is the drawer that I go in the least because I love to use palettes. I have a palette thing. Oh, man. These infallible things have been in this drawer forever. And, ooh, can't see it. There. I don't think they make these anymore. Um, which is why I'm tempted to hold on to these, but I haven't used these in years, so I think they have to go. Sorry, L'Oreal. I liked these, though. They were like an eye... I They were. Well, they, I thought they're not around anymore. They were um, an eye... Like an eyeshadow. Very pretty. Um, I loved these, but I haven't used them in a long time. So they're cream products. They have to go. They're gross. This guy, this is Amber Rush. I do still use this a lot. This is an eyeshadow. It's kind of like a cream and a powder. Um, however, this guy is super old, so I think I'm going to let go of this and just buy a new one. I did, I do use this a lot. I had a bunch of colors of these a long time ago, and I threw them, I just gave them all away because I, I only used this one color, and I really like this. So I'm just going to throw this one away and buy a new one, because especially since I put my fingers in it every time I used it, so it's probably really gross. So goodbye to this one. Okay, I never, this is basically the same thing as this. And this? Wait, what is this? Oh, this is eyeliner. So this doesn't belong there. You go in there. Uh, this? Yeah, this and this are the same. They're like a, a champagne-colored eyeshadow stick. And I really like this. So I'm going to keep this one and give this one away since it's still in the packaging. And this is super old, so I'm going to throw this one away. The singles are really getting down to the min, the min min here. So this is all I have. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Highlighters! Hey! Who loves highlighters? Thumbs up for highlighters. I love putting sparkly powder on my cheeks. I don't know if any of these guys are going. Honestly, I, I really don't because I do use most of these. Let me just take a look real quick. Oh, you know, it has to go though. These friends. These friends. These were from like Christmas, a couple Christmases ago. Ew. But the rest of this here is looking pretty good actually. I think the rest of these are great. I do use the rest of these. This is a rando bronzer that's in here. <laughs> I love this bronzer, though, in summertime. So I'm actually going to put this in with the face products. Uh, but everything else looks pretty good. I, uh, except... No, I use that. I use that. This guy, though, on the other hand, I don't use at all. So we're going to let go of him. And the rest of these girls... Oh, I don't use this either. This is out of control. Look at this. Well, do I use this? Do I want to get this another chance? I did get, what color is this? This is Rodeo Dry from Ofra. I got this in a beauty box, but it's, it's super intense. So, I mean, this is when you're like going out and you want to look like you're glowing to the gods. I'll give it another chance in my next declutter. If I haven't used it by then, it's going bye-bye. The rest of the stuff is good, especially my Becca's. Love the Becca's. Uh, actually, can I fit my other Becca highlighter palette in here? Kind of. Not really. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's see. I think I've figured out much, pretty much everything in here. And up top. So that, that is that. Okay, I'm going to quickly go through the drawer situation and see what's going on in here. And I'm going to exterminate.
all done, I decluttered everything and organized everything. Here is the bag of things I'm giving away, and the great thing about my life right now is that I'm in an April, I'm in an April, I'm in an opera in April, and as soon as we get into the theater, into the dressing room, I'm bringing this bag, and I'm gonna be like, girls, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> take all the stuff so it's quite a lot of stuff I'm getting rid of this is just stuff I didn't use or doesn't suit me or I just found that didn't work for me so uh, I'm sure the girls at the opera will be very excited about this bag of goodies so just general overview here is my vanity area we've got uh, main top shelf perfumes up here in this little guy and in this little latte bowl as well just for prettiness a uh, little fake flower a little tissue box although it's kind of empty right now got my main top shelf stuff up here I did declutter a couple of things from this area that I wasn't going to use let's be honest I don't use setting spray so when you're doing this really really be honest with yourself about what you're using that setting spray had been there for a couple of months and I just never touched it so you got to do what's right for you man um so I basically decluttered everything in here this is the my main stuff that I go through every day and I straighten out these drawers. I can show you what's inside them really quickly. These are my backup makeup palettes, whether they be face or eye palettes. This is the stuff I'm keeping. I did get rid of a few of the palettes that I didn't use, including woo, the Naked 2 and 3 palettes. I never touch those guys anymore. I just love Anastasia eyeshadows so much more. So I've got a couple of those palettes, and I go, I use them all the time, and they're a great eyeshadow quality and I never touch those Urban Decay palettes anymore so bye bye <laughs> um, so we've got that that stuff in there and in this one I completely uh, well I've been through this before uh, decluttering lip products I still have too many I think in my opinion however I decluttered a lot and there's basically nothing in the back there so that is cool and this one I just ended up it being sort of face products not necessarily makeup but you know masks and things like that miscellaneous uh, mirrors samples those kinds of things what's this guy oh he's fragrance I love this drawer but I decluttered him a little bit too so there's some leftover Atelier Cologne fragrance there some samples lots of samples I don't buy full-size colognes I just don't do it I get enough samples for a lifetime so I go through the samples pretty often and perfume lasts for a long time so those are good in there and what's in this one oh this is this one was fine too this is just eye stuff all of this stuff I've never opened is clearly good lashes lash glue uh, all that kind of stuff it's so good in there and this bottom drawer I'm using my foot to stop the madness this is just basically cleaning stuff and brushes so I've got my beauty blender uh, cleaning stuff for brushes extra brushes these are travel brushes and like this little guy who is funny I really like this travel brush and this is a travel brush as well so and a little travel brush container back here and this is the cleaner for the acrylics so I've got stress scratch remover cleaner and a heavy scratch remover so that is that and I'm so happy with the amount of things I have now even though it's still too much <laughs> I am happy I decluttered okay you guys I hope you enjoyed today's decluttering video I feel so much better now that I've gotten rid of my extraneous makeup that I don't use I still love makeup still a lot I still have way too much of it. I actually don't buy as much makeup as I did before, like maybe a year ago or a couple years ago. I do get makeup every month from BoxyCharm. That's basically pretty much it, unless I replace something that I ran out of, but I'm no longer Sephora VIB Rouge anymore. I'm barely VIB, so um, I'm doing pretty well in the prospect of buying and collecting makeup. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a th thumbs up. If you like videos about organizing home and cleaning stuff, subscribe. It's totally free. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! I can't help